mentions potholes, <laughs> but they are the bane of pretty much every road user's lives, aren't they? And after the recent cold spell we've had where temperatures, well, they're only just above freezing for days, it appears that the number of potholes in the East Midlands has, well, yep, yeah, it's increased. Today in Leicestershire's highways, team have been on the road making repairs and Jodie Law has been with them. You can count seven potholes along this stretch of road in Lutterworth, which are being patch repaired today with tarmac. The County Council call this process a permanent one-time fix and believe this will now last between 10 and 15 years. We have had some serious issues with potholes, as I would assume everyone else has driving around the country, you know. This year has been very cold for a two-week period. I mean, I look after winter and we had two of the coldest weeks we've had in it for a number of years. Following that, we had a lot of rain. These two things do not help. Lots of salt has been put down during this period and that is also very corrosive. Leicestershire County Council says between April and November more than 3,500 repairs like this were carried out on paths and carriageways. Some would have been potholes, others just necessary repairs and motorists have been urged to contact their local authority to report any potholes. It's very important that we get everything reported so we can then identify it and then classify it. We've only got a, we've got a number of inspectors who do routine checks to the road, but that, that isn't regular enough to pick up all potholes, especially at this time of year where potholes are appearing everywhere. If you can report it into us, then we can get out there and assess it and see what is required. Meanwhile, in Nottinghamshire, a local independent councillor claims not enough is being done to fix potholes in the town of Stapleford. We've had people reporting, I've seen it myself, of them putting tarmac in the old and jumping up and down on it, or just letting vehicles drive over it. And we deserve better than that. We want them fixing properly. You just heard that noise, as that one's it, that. Um, but we want them fixing properly. It, it's, you know, too long. The potholes have been bodged up in Stapleford. We need them fixing properly. But Nottinghamshire County Council says it has increased both the number and the quality of the repairs it carries out. I'm not familiar with the specific potholes, but uh, Stapleford is just an example. Across the county, we have reduced the number of pothole repairs substantially. We'll never eliminate them because of emergency repairs, uh, but the emphasis now is very much on the long-term patch repairs, and they are becoming much more prevalent. Once a pothole is reported, depending on how dangerous it is, depends on whether it's treated as a priority. After it's been inspected, the most serious is seen to within 72 hours. Others can take up to 90 days to fix. Jodie Law, BBC East Midlands Today, Leicestershire.